welcome back to my channel. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Shermanique and in today's video, I'll be doing the brace face tag as well as my one month braces update. So um, yeah, if you guys enjoy videos like this and you wanna see my progress, just uh, like, comment, share, subscribe, and keep on watching. So before I do get into um, my one month update and the, the brace face tag, whew, before I get into that, I do want to go ahead and give you guys kind of like a backstory on why I feel I need braces or wanted braces in the first place. So, so basically as a child, I sucked my thumb um, um, until well into my um, teenage years. That's what I did. Um, I'm not gonna lie, <laughs> embarrassing, I know. But it was a form of um, comfort, you know, like um, a coping mechanism. So with every and any emotion, that was what I did. So yeah, so yeah, so I created an overbite and an open bite. And so yeah, as well as when I did go to my orthodontist, the one that I do have now, um, he explained to me that I do have crowding in the bottom of my teeth. So which is like, what? Anyways, <laughs> so yeah, so so yeah i wanted to get my braces for a while and so i've just been procrastinating procrastinating out of fear because i'm like i'm reading all of the um the reviews i guess you can say or uh what is it called the horror stories on youtube and i'm just like oh my gosh like is this is it really worth it like so in 2017 2000 yeah 2017 i went ahead um and I went to an orthodontist to get a consultation. And so they explained to me I would need it for two years. Um, then they explained to me that they felt that I needed jaw surgery and everything was good. Everything they were telling me, I liked it, except for the fact that they said jaw surgery. And I'm like, I'm not getting any surgery. What do they know? So I psyched myself out and I was like, I was like, no, 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 it's never me. I really wanted it. Like I was, I was hard on myself. I'm like, oh my God, why did I have to wait so long? <laughs> um, so yeah, I did that. And then, um, 2018, you know, I, after I did go to my first consultation, I said, nope, that's not it. So then I went to... In 2018, I went to um, another orthodontist in which, you know, they gave me a quote, they checked my teeth, they said, same thing, two years, and they said that um, he didn't mention anything about surgery, he offered me metal braces, and I'm like, okay, sure. So then again, I got in my head, and um, I got in my head and I psyched myself out once again, so um yeah i did not go and so what 2020 2020 <laughs> two years later so i went to another orthodontist in which they told me to get invisalign and i'm like do you see what i see like i'm just like do you see what i see like do, are you sure that metal not metal plastic aligners invisalign can bring down my um overbite they're like yeah you know you just have to be consistent you have to wear it every day you can't have it on i'm like what i don't want invisalign so he gave me a quote for invisalign even though i told him i didn't want invisalign he also gave me a very cheap affordable price um in which i didn't feel comfortable with i was just like why are you pushing Invisalign for my overbite um, as well as giving me for this affordable price. Like I just didn't trust it. So I did go ahead and go back to the second orthodontist um, that I went to and I explained that to him and he's like, what? Uh, we wouldn't recommend Invisalign for your overbite because you cannot really, you know, 
basically what I was thinking, that's what he said, you know, plastic aligners cannot be trusted to so go ahead and close that for you. So after that, I was just like, okay, I got to do this. I keep holding myself back for what, you know, um, I'm getting old. <laughs> so I was like, let me just get, go ahead and do it. And so after I went home that day, this is kind of like a story time. Anyways, after I went home that day, um, I called and I was like, oh, can I schedule an appointment? And she's like, oh, um, it's tomorrow. I'm like, no, that's too soon. So I did end up scheduling it for the next week and I did it. <laughs> and when I tell you I was terrified, I was terrified. Like my fear crippled me for forever. Anyway, so I went into my appointment. I feel like I'm yelling. I mean, not wake the kids. So I went into my appointment and then um, went to my appointment. They took the x-rays, they took the pictures. And so the whole time I'm just like, oh my gosh, like, oh my gosh, I don't wanna feel no pain. And so the orthodontist was like, it's gonna be the worst pain you've ever felt in your life. And I'm like, what? Why would you say that to a patient? <laughs> No, but honestly and truly, I was like, why would you say that? Because he didn't seem sarcastic at all, you know? He seemed serious. And so I laid in the back in the of the chair, I laid back, and so my fists were clenched. My booty. <laughs> my booty was clenched. Like, my toes were curled. Like, I was like, ah. I was terrified just waiting for the pain and so he started to put the brackets on and I'm just like oh my god like telling myself it's gonna be okay it's gonna be okay and so I think I just woke up my daughter <laughs> okay she's good and anyways so um yeah so I was you know so tense and i'm just like oh my gosh let the pain be over with and so he started to put the brackets on and as he was putting it on i did feel pressure but it wasn't uncomfortable and it wasn't painful it was just literally like i knew there was something there like you know and so um i'm just still there like tense i'm just like <sighs> like waiting for the pain so then <laughs> So then he's like, okay, done. I'm like, what? What? <laughs> he's like, I'm finished. I'm done. I'm like, are you sure you didn't forget something? <laughs> and so, no, he was done. I looked in the mirror. I'm like, oh my gosh, I got it on. I finally did it. So, yeah. So, <laughs> so yeah. I was a wimp for no reason. I was holding myself back for no reason. I was scared for no reason. <sighs> so anyways, now they did give me a kit. Um, this is a kit. It's like, you know, my daughter got to it and she ripped up the, um, this. This has like the, the list of the things. So I'll read it on since most of the stuff is not in here. So, um, I mean, read it out because most of this stuff is not here. So, I got one full handle V trim toothbrush, which I use that. That's the toothbrush I use. Um, a travel size is one. I use that when I, you know, when I'm out. Um, waxed dental floss. I don't really use it. I don't use it. Dental, this is the waxed dental floss so it's supposed to help like with like um the pain that you the soreness that you get in the inside of your cheek <laughs> once the bracket has been you know and the metal has been using um rubbing against it so yeah um i don't really use that so that's whatever um i also got um a dental mirror i have not used that yet an orthodontic Patient wax, um, the interdental, interdental brush cylinder. I have those. I don't have it in here um, because I use those. Um, a floss threader. Um, and the floss threader is like basically like a needle and thread. You put the threader 
but it's right here. Let me show you. I can show you better than I can tell you. So yeah, this is this is plastic, right? And so you put the needle, you put the uh, needle, you put the floss through there to like put it through your the metal and you floss, you know? Okay, you got it, got it. And then obviously this bag and then a two minute timer and that's in the bathroom. Anyway, so yeah, that's all it came with. And I use these daily. Um, so yeah, um, I'm gonna go ahead and I have my handy dandy notebook. No, I have my notebook and it has basically um, the brace face tag questions. And so I'm going to read them off um, before I get into, well, I guess I could, I could talk about my one month experience as I'm answering the questions. So the first question is, when did you get your braces? And I got my braces um, December 20, 2020. Um, the next question is, how soon after you got them could you feel pressure or aching? So pressure I felt right away, but again, like I said, it was not painful or uncomfortable. I could just tell that something was like on me, you know, on my on my teeth. Um, so yeah, an aching. Aching, I did go to my first um or my second appointment um earlier, no not earlier, late January. And so once he tightened the braces, I felt aching then, like it was like a sensitivity. So that was annoying and frustrating because it wasn't painful. It was just sensitive. You know, when you eat something hot and then eat something cold and it was like that, but I felt it on my, like, it was just, it was sensitive. Let me just say that, but it wasn't unbearable. Um, the next question is on a scale from one to 10, 10 being the worst, how bad was the pain for you? Again, I did not feel any pain. Thank the Lord. <laughs> I did not feel any pain at all. Um, yeah, just pressure and that's it. What kinds of food did you eat when you got your braces? So when I first got my braces, they told me, you know, you can eat. Um, they did inform me of the foods and gave me a list of things that I could not eat. And so um, the first thing that I eat, ate was Taco Bell because it was the closest thing i was hungry i did not eat that day so i had taco bell i had and i had the soft tacos i hate soft tacos but obviously i didn't think i could eat the the, the hard shell so i went with the soft and so i ate that and then when i ate it i was just so disgusted because i can feel the the food in my teeth on my my brackets and i'm just like like i had to brush my teeth right away and I did not eat. I really didn't eat. I did not eat what seven, eight days. And it wasn't intentional, you know. It wasn't like, oh, I'm not gonna eat today. I just was so turned off about how I felt. I just didn't I didn't think about food. I didn't go to pick up nothing. I didn't nothing. Like I didn't even when I'm cook when I was cooking, I didn't even go to taste the food. Um well, I tasted it, but I didn't even like, you know, when you're cooking you like to nibble on something. When I would cook for my children. I didn't, um, I didn't nibble on anything. I was like, nothing is getting in my braces. And that caused me to lose 12 pounds. So yeah, anyways, that's a whole other story. So yeah, I didn't really eat much. I just drank water and I did try eating soup, um, but it had like noodles in it. And obviously I didn't like it. So yeah, I really didn't eat much. Um, now, I eat, but I don't eat as much because again, I don't want that feeling in my brackets and I don't want to have to keep brushing my teeth every single second. So yeah. How often do you get them tightened? So my braces from my first appointment, um, I waited about what, six, seven weeks. Yeah, about six, seven weeks. Um, but now my, or my next appointment is in four weeks. So I would say. I would say four to four to seven weeks is the amount of time I get them tightened. Um, do you wear rubber bands? No, I do not wear rubber bands as yet. So I had an overbite. You can see my teeth now. 
if I, I wish I could show you guys the picture of how my teeth was, cause then you would see like, it's already, already progress. So Um, to answer the question, I'm not wearing rubber bands now because my overbite, my open bite overbite has to come down. Once that is down and the brackets are on my bottom, then I will get the rubber bands, you know, so yeah. So how many times a day do you brush your teeth? Do you have any tips to prevent the little white squares on your teeth? So I brush my teeth um obviously mon um that's monday through friday obviously in the morning and in the night i brush my teeth but then as i eat throughout the day i will brush after eating so that's how much i brush my teeth and as far as tips to prevent the little white squares i feel like everyone will have those little white squares once they take off their brackets not sure i don't have any tips because i'm i don't even know so yeah i guess i'll ask my dentist orthodontist and he will you know inform me so yeah do you get to pick your colors um yes i do i have silver and i'm not going uh, probably purple because purple is my favorite color but i feel like i'm too old for color <laughs> so yeah um i'll probably just either keep doing gray or black so yes i do get to pick my colors how long will you have your bra braces so I will have my braces on for about two years, so 24 months. Do you need jaw surgery? No, thank you, Jesus. No, but I don't need it. Thank God. Um, the next question is, what kind of toothbrush do you use with your braces? So I use the toothbrush the orthodontist provided to me. However, um, they did say that I could use any standard toothbrush, so... Mm. Um, the next question is, do you use wax? Um, and the wax is what I just showed you guys. And that's to, again, um, this right here. That's to, again, help with the soreness that the brackets and the wire causes on the side of your cheeks. And no, I do not use the wax. So when I did first get them and I would like talk and everything like that, I had the, the wires rubbing against my cheek. And obviously it caused um, tearing or soreness. And in the beginning, it was like, oh my God, this is what I have to deal with. But I got used to it and now there's no soreness at all. And I'm okay with it. Even if I feel, even if it does say come back again, um, I don't think I would use the wax because it's like, for what? Um, the next question is how long did getting your braces on take? So it took about 15, 20 minutes, if not less, because again, I only got the top. And so yeah, it didn't take long at all. So the next question, do you ever get the metal taste in your mouth? No, thank God. What color bands do you get? I answered that question actually already. So um, I get silver. Um, I'll probably go for black and then, um, what is it called? Black and purple as well. So now to talk about my experience, because <laughs> that was all the questions, you know, that was all the questions. So yeah, so to talk about my experience, um, so far, so good. I feel like it's working. I can see it working simply because of my gap between my teeth. My teeth are crooked right now, like it has to shift, but the gap between the my bottom and top teeth were crazy. Like I didn't like to smile. If you see me laugh, I would be like, <laughs> you know, <laughs> but now I'm embracing my smile. Like I'm so happy, so happy that I went and did this because listen, listen, my smile is about to be on point, okay? Um, so yeah, um, I, what was I oh my gosh, I'm so happy if you cannot tell that I got my braces. <laughs> so anyways, um, so yeah, when I first got it, 
there was no pressure no pain no nothing i went about my day i ate my food my little taco bell and um yeah i you know brushed my teeth so on and so forth there was nothing out of the ordinary i flossed my teeth flossing is a bit difficult because obviously they're moving together and so it's harder to get that in the floss in so when i do get it in it's like i'm being rough and my gums oh my gosh but anyways it's the small the tiny price i have to pay for you know where i want my smile to be so again i do see progress and i'm so happy like i'm so happy um i did explain that my bottom aren't on yet because my top has to shift or move down and so yeah um i'm so happy like i'm so excited about my braces if you can't tell you know if i you know you know like if you couldn't tell i'm here to tell you <laughs> no but seriously oh my gosh anyways so um what other things the soreness again it was in the beginning i feel like obviously you have a foreign object in your mouth so and not only that it was like you know protruding I wouldn't say protruding it was just different you know like it's something different in your mouth and so my mouth did soar up a little bit my inside of my cheeks <clears throat> but i don't experience that anymore thank god um i brush my teeth when i need to brush my teeth because i don't want to i will get my teeth whitened once they're out but i don't want to I don't want to damage them. I don't want them to be, um, have to be doing too much to them. So yeah, what other things? Um, oh, I noticed that I clench down on my teeth a lot. Like I'll be like sitting down, watching TV, writing something, doing whatever. And then I'm just clenching on my teeth and I realize I'm like, oh shoot. And I have to go like this. Like I have to, I have to do that because when I clench down, it gets so tight. Like, I realized that I've been clenching because my jaw will get so tight. So I have to, like, you know, like, mm, <laughs> like, you know, like, stretch it out or whatever. So, yeah. <clears throat> so, yeah, what else have I should have wrote these things down. I, I will do it for the, the third month update because I will be doing that. So, yeah. And then when I went in for my second appointment, um, yeah, I sat down. He asked me for... What colors I wanted, um, I, I said black, but I was like, no, 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 silver. Anyways, <laughs> so he asked me what bracket, what color I wanted. I told him, and then he literally just tightened it. And as he was tightening again, I did feel sensitivity. So that was annoying, but it wasn't painful. Like I could handle it. I'm like, I didn't care. Like I said before, I didn't care. I didn't think about it because I see a difference in my teeth. Like, I wish I could show you a before picture. That way you can see the progress. But I, I wasn't smiling how I'm smiling now, you know. Mm. <laughs> so, yeah, I wasn't, I wasn't, if I find one, maybe I'll put, put, put it in somewhere. But I wasn't smiling as I was before. I was the girl that was covering her mouth because, again, I had an overbite. And um, so, yeah um i see difference i didn't think about the pain or not pain i don't i keep saying pain it, it wasn't painful i didn't think about the sensitivity because i could see a difference and i knew that that's where i had to do in order to you know continue the progress so i didn't care so yeah overall i'm happy about getting my braces if you couldn't tell already um, I'm excited, ecstatic. I cannot wait to continue to see my progress. Um, so yeah, if you see me doing this, like if you see me when I'm talking, you'll see me probably go like this or like I'll do some funny motion with my lips. It's because, um, I feel as though what I'm feeling, um, is that my lip is over my bracket. So I kind of like, you know, like, you know, like try to get it over <laughs> so yeah that's what that is um so yeah 
if you're interested in seeing my journey and seeing what I go to, you know, from now, you know, to like, um, uh, why am I doing this? <laughs> Make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe. I would really appreciate it. You know, I'm trying to get that thousand subscribers, that 4,000 watch views. So yeah, <laughs> if you like my content, again, please subscribe um, and please share. It, it does really mean a lot to me. I'm doing too much right now. <laughs> I'm doing way too much. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and end the video now. If you guys have any questions about my braces and um, say anything that I left out that you may want to know, just leave me um, a comment in the description box. As well as if you are interested yourself but terrified of getting braces um, at an older age, say, um, comment down below. And if you do have braces, comment down below. No matter what, <laughs> no matter what, comment down below. If you got this far, comment down below a heart emoji. That's how I know. Comment down below. So yeah, um, thank you guys for watching and I will see you on the next one.